welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I was requested to do a wearable red eyeshadow look and also a makeup tutorial based on Marsala, the color of the year. So I kind of combined those two because Marsala is basically a wearable red eyeshadow. Like the color is a wearable red shade. <laughs> so I kind of made this Marsala eye with this really pretty matte nude lip and I love the way this came out like I could definitely see myself rocking this like all the time so yeah I love when you guys request me to do makeup looks they're kind of like really really fun for me to you to give me an idea and then I translate it the way I see it in my head it's really fun for me so if you guys have any ideas of makeup looks you want to see me do then always leave them down in the comments or comment on my Instagram or tell me on Twitter wherever just let me know because I love doing requests and we're also using the Jaclyn Hill favorites palette from Morphe brushes in this look but this video is a talk through and with each shade that I use I actually tell you what number it is in the Morphe brushes eyeshadows so that if you didn't get your hands on this palette you can just pick up these single shadows from Morphe brushes um, individually so even if you didn't get your hands on this palette you are able to still get the shades that are in it but yeah this is a very easy look like basically anybody can do this like in terms of technique it is very 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 simple so I swear to god if you just try this look you can get it like spot on girl spot on I hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to learn how to get this Marsala wearable red eyeshadow look then just keep watching Hi guys, so I've already got my brows on. I actually just filmed a brow routine, so look out for that coming up soon. But yeah, I've already filled in my brows and primed my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and now we're just gonna jump right into eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into my Jaclyn Hills Favorites palette. I know this is sold out, but you can get all of these shadows individually, which is why I don't feel that bad using it because you can still get all of these shades. So I'm going to take this one right here on an E40 brush. This is ES13 I believe. Let me just double check. Okay so yeah this is ES13 from Morphe brushes and I'm going to put this shade on an E40 from Sigma and we're just going to buff this in the crease as our transition shade. And when you put on your transition shade, do not worry about being messy. You can be as sloppy as possible as long as you get it nice and blown out. And since this is a wearable red eyeshadow look, we're going to keep everything very, very warm because it's a red look. So we need everything to go with that same tone. I'm going to ask you guys to excuse my nails because I tried to take the nail polish off and the nail polish remover I have sucks. So like half of it came off and half of it didn't but I was not about to sit there with crappy nail polish remover forever. So this is what we're working with. Okay, now we're going to go into this shade here on an E25 brush. This is ES15 from Morphe Brushes. And we're going to get this on the tip of the brush. And then we're going to buff this right into the crease of our eye. And blend it right into that transition shade, which will not be difficult because of how blown out we made that transition shade. And you want to focus it on the outer corner and then drag it into the inner corner but work it all in that crease. This is a very simple look in terms of technique. It's just knowing which colors to pair with a red shade to make it as wearable as possible. And I'm gonna go back with my E40 brush and just make sure that everything is nice and blown out. Okay, so now on an E55 eye shading brush, we're gonna go into this gorgeous burgundy shade down here. This is ES71 from Morphe. And this is like that perfect Marsala burgundy red shade. Exact, exactly the color of the year this year, which I think is absolutely flawless. So we're going to pop this right on the lid of the eye. And this is the most pigmented shadow like ever. Like you could, if you have Bitten from Makeup Geek, you can use that um, instead. But seriously, this one is like even more pigmented, which like what? You're more pigmented than Makeup Geek? Who would have thought? Yeah, we're just going to pack this all over the lid. And now I'm going to take that same E25 I used before, get a little bit of that burgundy shade on the tip of it, but tap most of it off. And then we're just going to go right in the crease and blow this out a little bit more. Just to make sure that everything on the lid is blending in to the crease and all the other shades as nicely as possible. 
And just to add a little bit something extra, a little bit more pizzazz to the eye, we're going to go into this shade over here, which is ES11 from Morphe Brushes. We're going to take this on a um, co uh, concealer brush from Sigma. And this is like a burgundy copper kind of shimmery color. And we're just going to pop this right on the center of the lid just to add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit something bright to the lid, if you know what I mean. And now to finish up the eyeshadow on top, we're just going to go into this shimmery shade up here, which is ES4. And then we're just going to pop this right under the brow bone. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice winged liner with this uh, Tarte, what is it? The Amazonian Clay Dual Liner. Um, they don't sell this anymore. This was limited edition, but they do sell just the black one, which is the one I'm going to be using. And I'm going to put it on this 202 eyeliner brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice winged liner. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some mascara and lashes, and I'm going to be using these gorgeous Misha lashes from Coco. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so my lashes are on. Aren't these freaking gorgeous? Like, Coco lashes has stolen my heart. Okay, so now we're going to start on the face. I'm going to start with my beloved Smashbox Primer Water. This stuff is amazing. If you haven't gotten it yet, go get you some. <sighs> And once that is on, I'm going to go ahead and prime with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and the NYX Angel Veil Primer. My face just got randomly really red. When did that happen? It's probably all this light. I want you to know that I just told my friends to stop texting me because they're being annoying and my phone is like vibrating in the background. And so they sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine texts to be more annoying. So Bianca and Ezra, screw you bitches. And then they said, LOL, shout us, out. shout us out. Yeah, I'm shouting you out as the annoying friends that ruin videos. Now that my phone is on Do Not Disturb, we're gonna go ahead and put on our foundation and I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I exchange, I had shade five and then I exchanged it for shade 525, 5.25, because five was too light, but now this one's like really dark, so. I don't know. I'm just going to have to get a tan, basically. Look at that. That is dark. Ah, well, whatever. We'll just highlight some more. And I'm just going to put that on with a damp beauty blender. Okay, so foundation is on. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight and conceal. I just got these in the mail, well, like two days ago. These are the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Natural, so I'm going to use this one to highlight and conceal under my eyes and the rest of my face. Everybody talks about how much they love these, so let's see if I like it. Ah, not a big fan of the application process, to be honest. Okay, okay, this is weird. Okay, I have to say, I'm not really a huge fan of this brush thing. I thought I would be, but it's kind of weird. Maybe I just have to get used to it. Although, maybe I do like it. Then I'm going to blend all that out with a beauty blender. Oh, this is a really nice concealer, actually. How much is this stuff? It's like $3 or something. I think that's awesome. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cream contour with that same concealer, but this one is in the shade Toast. This is really dark. Oh, shit. I'm going to blend that out with this small stipple brush from e.l.f. Okay, I got to wet this because it's, like, stuck. I think I let it sit there for a little bit too long. Maybe I need to just do this with a beauty blender. Cream contour gone horrible. This literally looks like I put poop on my face. Okay, this isn't that bad now, but I am going to go back with a little bit of the lighter concealer and just clean this up. That is some harsh ass contour. 
Okay, so now we're going to go in with another new product of mine, which is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, which I am really digging, you guys. Like, I love it. And I'm going to go into these two highlight shades on this Sigma tapered face brush or tapered highlighter brush. And I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer. Now I'm going to go in with this middle uh, contour shade. And we're just going to go ahead and bronze this skin. And kind of set that cream contour because I don't really think I want to go in with any more. I just want to kind of make sure that it's not going to budge. I'll tell you the truth, I look pretty damn flawless right now. Okay, for blush, I didn't want to take anything too bright, but also not anything too light or cool tone. So I'm going to take this Bittersweet Blush from NYX, which is really, really nice. Just gives a nice kind of flush to the cheeks. I'm just going to pop that on top of the cheekbones. And then I also don't want anything too shimmery for a cheek highlight. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Highlight Blush, and this is in the shade Nude. And that just gives a nice kind of glow to the face. Okay, so I don't want to make the eyes too, too dark. So I'm going to go in with this NYX Wonder Pencil and align the waterline. Now I'm going to go in with this first transition shade that we used and this pencil brush from Real Techniques. And we're going to go under the lash line and buff this out nicely. And then we're going to take this flat definer brush and we're going to go into the burgundy shade, which is down here. And press this into the lower lashes. And then just to bring a little bit more light to the eyes, we're going to go in with that highlight shade and pop it on the inner corner. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and pop some mascara on the lower lashes. And for lips, I'm going to start off with my favorite NYX Rose Brown Lip Pencil. And then on the back of my hand, I'm going to mix the Stila Patina um, All Day, what is it, All Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and then the Melt, Too Faced Melted um, and Melted Sugar. I'm going to mix them on the back of my hands. And then just because it's all over my finger, I'm just going to put it on with my finger. And then with a lip brush to kind of perfect the line. Okay, ladies, this is basically the final look. I hope you enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all those fun places so you can stay up to date with me and my new videos. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.